Tyson says half a million autos. Martin Clark, uh, 10,000. Now, how many autos does Panini deal with on a year to basis? And let you guys guess a couple more. Rob is here working, sorting out this, the cards. Putting your mail days together. Rob is right behind me, Carter. Rob M. Okay, you guys ready? 25,000? <laughs> no. And this came direct from a Panini Senior Vice President. Seven million. Really? Seven million autographs they deal with on a yearly basis. Now, that does not mean that there's seven million autographs in every single one of their products and cards, but it means that on a yearly basis, they have to acquire, deal with, manage a mil seven million autographs in a year. That's yeah. So, just saying, man. Next time you guys say, like, oh, redemption suck or points suck, it is an extremely large undertaking for them to deal with that stuff. No, I said over a million. I, there was guy, I would, I would guess, you know, 100,000, 150,000. I would have thought up to half a million, like, at the high end. Seven million. <laughs> Because I've seen guys with, like, boxes, like, that big at their house having to sign all the cards, like, yeah. while they're watching football or whatever they put on Twitter. That puts it in perspective. Instagram. Seven million autographs. Not seven million people. Seven million autographs. Of course there's not seven million different signers. But there's 7 million autographs that they have to account for. Meaning, okay, we have 5,000 from Leonte Carew. We have 10,000 from um, Will Fuller. We have, right there is 15,000 between Will Fuller and Leonte Carew, probably. Two dudes. One auto. I mean, look at it this way. You know how many autographs they get from the rookies? 10,000. 10, 5, 10,000 over a season of one player. There's an Otani. A.L. Wester for Martin. Martin, you got the A.L. West. Let's get you a monster. Now, what I do think they can do is hire more people. I mean, look what I do. I'm a small business, but if I could staff up and have five robs, I would feel more comfortable breaking more and doing more products. That's like three real people. <laughs> 10 of 10, Jack Flaherty. But with that comes cost and time and money. So it's not as easy to just bust out and get higher new people. Number to 99, Otani. Martin Clark, AOS. Especially in a business running with the size high. of theirs. You have to think that not stealing, but. Number to 50. Being able to finag finagle stuff, especially when, like you said, there's millions of autographs and stuff. That 99 Cal, shiny green. The more people you have, the more leaks you have, the more. Yeah, yep. Sandy Alcantara, auto, Marlins. Ah, Rizzo, NL Central for you, Mock. Check it out, dude. Red Orbit. Those might be to like 10.
Number to 150. No, do you know why they do the redemptions? Some guys don't sign. <laughs> they, they, were, they, ha, they don't, there's premium autos and then there's non-premium and then there's rookies. So if they got the rookie auto in there and they have the veteran auto in there and they're missing, they don't have an auto to replace that one at the time. That's why they have to do a redemption. They're not just like, oh, sorry, we're short autos. They got 7 million of them. But would you, you know, they got to go somewhere. If they're short one, they're not going to be like, oh, let's just give them another Leonte Carew out of the 10,000 that we have of him. Then you guys cry that every freaking box has Leonto Carews in it. I know I sound like I'm defending them, but I understand where they're coming from. It's not easy. Giancarlo Stanton and Aaron Ethier. Althier. Oh, this is a dual box, isn't it? Wait, is this a dual box? It sure is. Sure is, dudes. Do they need that much product, though, without numbers? I should bring them on one night. You guys can answer all these questions. They'll answer them all. But you guys would have to be nice. I'll bring them on Skype. I'll bring somebody on from Panini on Skype and we can ask them all the questions in the world. <laughs> Q&A. Yeah, I don't know how well that would go. Right, well, what are you going to put in the product then? What, what are you going to put in a product of autos if you're not putting in the unknown rookies and the new guys? Answer me that. You're going to put in the high-value premium rookies or premium veterans and legends and Hall of Famers? Yeah, Tom Brady it, it, yeah. To in like certified. I mean, you forget Panini's paying these people for these autographs. They have value. You know what I mean? So you have to fill up. a. Pro That's why a product is priced differently. I learned all this stuff. I'm learning it. So do they have their own in-house authentication? They do. I mean, do they? I don't think so. That sounds... That sounds... Conflict of interest. Brandon Woodruff. Well, I'm guessing on the back of all these cards it says Panini guarantees this order to be authentic. And... Brian Doe's here. Well, they're Panini. Right? <laughs> there's, no, there's no one at Panini going, Oh, that's authentic. It's just they know it's authentic because they have people that are getting them, I guess. Yeah, but that's where you got into the problem with the Dak Prescott stuff. Yeah, they missed the boat on that one. When he was using the auto pen or whatever for all yeah. the cards. Because you send it to him, though, you don't watch him with the... Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of sticker autos that are signed by brothers and brothers-in-laws and managers. Goldschmidt. But like I always say, you have no way of knowing. If Panini says it's authentic, it is. Totally could have been signed by his brother. Or whoever. The weird thing with the Dak Auto is they actually made them like more valuable. Like, people wanted them because it was a story, it was a thing. Mm hmm I had a redemption from that product that year. There's another Otani. I've never seen this many Otanis. Bueller. Here comes the autos. There's an Aaron Judge to 99. KB. Brian Dozier, number to 50. JD Davis, 99. Daryl Strawberry. Mets, NL Easter. There you go, Mock. Mock probably fell asleep. And a Zach Godley. Number to 99. Ariando, 150. <laughs> to Karis McKinley. Right, but they also know that people build up their, their points. 
I don't even think there's 150, you know, 150 points. You can get autos for 150 points. Yeah, I know. I just don't know what they can do without, if they're short an auto that's supposed to fit in that box, then they got to do something. They can't just short you, which they do sometimes. That's happened. That's gotten better, though. I feel like a couple years ago, I was always nervous opening stuff that was going to be short an auto. 